Welcome back. Today we're going on an auditory adventure to explore the hidden patterns in music. Sit back, relax, and let your eardrums embark on a delightful journey into the world of the golden ratio in music. Ah, the golden ratio. That illustrious number that's been popping up in nature, architecture, and art since time immemorial. For those of you who've been living under a rock, or perhaps just not paying attention in math class, the golden ratio is approximately 1.618033987, but let's just call it phi, shall we? Now, phi is not only the 21st letter of the Greek alphabet, but it's also a mathematical constant that's been making our world a more aesthetically pleasing place for centuries. But how, you may ask, does this fabulous number tie in with music? Well, let me tell you, dear listeners, Phi has been hiding in plain sight, or rather plain sound, in many famous compositions. So prepare your minds and ears for a symphony of synchronicity as we uncover the presence of the golden ratio in the realm of music. Let's begin with the Baroque period, where Johann Sebastian Bach was weaving mathematics into his melodies like a musical Einstein. In his work, The Musical Offering, Bach intricately crafts a crab cannon, where two melodies start at opposite ends and converge in the middle, culminating in a breathtaking example of the golden ratio in action. Coincidence? I think not. Fast forward to the 20th century, and we find ourselves in the company of the legendary composer, Bella Bartok. Bartok, a man of many talents, had a penchant for incorporating mathematical patterns into his music. In his piece, Music for Strings, Percussion, and Celesta, the Fibonacci sequence, a close cousin of the golden ratio, takes center stage. As the piece progresses, the rhythm and structure adhere to the Fibonacci sequence, showcasing the harmony between music and math. Now let's take a detour to the world of jazz, where the saxophone virtuoso John Coltrane embraced the golden ratio in his masterpiece, Giant Steps. Coltrane's innovative chord progression was based on a series of major thirds, creating a sense of symmetry that echoes the principles of the golden ratio. Jazz never sounded so mathematically divine. And finally, we arrive at the contemporary realm, where the British rock band Radiohead has taken the golden ratio to new heights in their song, Pyramid Song. Through a complex rhythm structure that's almost as enigmatic as the pyramids themselves, Radiohead incorporates phi into the very fabric of their music. And let's not forget their album, In Rainbows, where the tracks themselves follow a golden ratio structure. Mind-blowing, isn't it? So what does this all mean for our listening experience? The presence of the golden ratio and other mathematical patterns in music adds a layer of depth and intrigue, appealing not just to our emotions, but also to our intellect. These hidden patterns tap into our innate sense of beauty, creating a harmonious and captivating listening experience that transcends time and genres. And there you have it, folks. From the Baroque era to modern rock, the golden ratio has been serenading us with its mathematical charm. So the next time you listen to your favorite tune, keep an ear out for those hidden patterns. And remember, as the great Pythagoras once said, there is geometry in the humming of the strings, there is music in the spacing of the spheres, and indeed there is a beautiful dance between mathematics and music that continues to enchant and inspire us to this very day. So go forth, my fellow music enthusiasts, and let the golden ratio guide you on a journey of discovery through the magical world of melodies. And if you happen to stumble upon a new hidden pattern, don't forget to share it with the rest of us. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the boundless connections between music and math. Thanks for tuning in. And if you enjoyed this melodious exploration, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into the incredible world of music.